All right, guys, we're here with Josh Pinto, and he just he just won. Shit, girl. He just won the tournament with the with the peanut butter and Ellie sandwich. Horror right, show, bitch. Wait, I want to restart that. Why? Because there was that idiot in the background. I don't give a shit. All right, let's go. All right, show us the contents of this peanut butter and Ellie sandwich and how you 360 Hara shown to everybody in the tournament. All right, I'm running, for my level threes, I'm running four of the clock shots. And then, uh, who do I stand? And then three of the healers. All right, so what, what does each of this shit do? Um, I'm play heal and I believe pay to search. I don't use that effect. Okay, this, uh, when this card attacks, you can pay two to bounce a character on the opponent's front row. Yeah, I don't use that. So you, card. Didn't, so you didn't use that? I never used it. All right, all right, fair okay. enough. Let's get on to the important level three. The clock shot. Oh, this one we still. All my games actually, except for that terraformer one where I just busted his soul. Okay. So basically, what this does is um, on play if there's four or other Ellies. Um, you get stock. Free stock from deck, right? Yeah. On play, um, during the turn it's played, after it reverses a character, I pay one, I shoot something, I shoot it to clock. The last effect, which is hilarious, I pay one plus 15. Nothing. No, because you have to send a, you have to send a card from their clock in order to send a character to clock. Okay, so, anyways, so you're saying? So, I pay one stock, um, as for the third ability, pay one stock, plus 15. So, the way the deck is built, I have enough stock to just make it un uncounterable the moment I play it. And then you just kill stuff. Yes, I just make sure that you're at six before this attacks. <laughs> or after it finishes attacking. Alright. Alright, so level twos. I have two of the event counters. Basically if I have a full field of Ellie's, it's a 5k counter. Okay, so so what this actually does is it's a event that gives uh, 1,000 for each Ellie on your board. So yep. that's what that does. Uh, two level assists. Uh, when this enters, if I have three other music characters, I get a free stock. Or was it four? Oh, you have to have full board. Full board? Yeah, so four others. So on play, it plays for itself. And then two of these. Climax combo to the green uh, plus two soul I have. Um, so Climax combo, on attack, I choose one music character from my drops. Um, waiting room? Waiting room. Put it into stock and plus three to the end of my turn. On play, plus 15. So builds up stock easily. For the, for the level three. The level three come, the level three clock shot. All right, level ones. Four of the fat asses. <laughs> Damn, that's rude. <laughs> it is true. She's a fat ass, and I love her. <laughs> okay, so she gets five hundred for each other um, music character on the board. So she becomes a six five by herself if I have a full. Okay, nope. Next. Um, three of these one one six Ks. This is a clock encore. That's the only reason what I use it for. I don't know what the other effect it does. Oh yeah, uh, if you have three or more other g music characters, it gets plus one K. Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Whoa, you I didn't know. Won. You didn't know that this whole time. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I still clock encore. Wow. Everyone was like eight thousand. I'm like, can you, can you believe this guy topped? Because it's full. It's okay. I got carried. Um. Three of these, um, I just used the Ellie because Ellie's a build. Uh, Climax Hamble to the yellow, um, plus this soul, pay one search for any music. Alright. Uh, let's see. 1165, um, this is, um, tap two, give a character, um, on revert. As soon as it reverses a uh, opponent's character, uh, stock, uh, choose... Blind stock, blind stock. stock yeah. yeah. And then... To uh, one two, five hand non card. Vanilla, and, uh, vanilla vanilla counters. counters yeah. Wait, so that was, wait, so, wait, so that was what? So that was six wait no, seven level threes, six level twos, how many level ones were there? One, two, three, like like fifteen? Yeah, something like that. Ten Yeah, fifteen. Fifteen level ones. Okay. Yeah. No. And now the zeros. Level zeros. Alright. For the changers, I, I never got it, ever. You never got it? No, during the training, I never got it. What the hell? I never got it. <laughs> <laughs> I, the opening hand, I never got it off. 
until like mid game, like against um, Raymond here. And that's the only time I got it off. I got that change off. That's some. Yeah, it, it's it's okay. So so if this card is at the start of your climax phase, you can send this card to clock, and then you bring out the, the you, bring, you bring out the fat ass Ellie. Yeah. From from your waiting room. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And like you don't have to discard hand. You don't have to. Basically, you don't this have acts to pay a, stock. Basically, this acts as a clock encore. <laughs> you 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 basically clock encore into like a one zero like five five. Yeah, for no reason. Yeah. So and then four of the Mogito. Uh, but yeah, but yeah, Raymond. So that's what this card does. Yeah. You can't so. do wait, two damage. You can't cancel two damage. Right yeah. Okay. So what it does is on play plus fifteen. That's it. Yeah, pretty standard. Just gets over shit. Yep. Uh, three. This card is so <laughs> good. Okay, so this card is so good. Once return, I am. If I use a startup, I give something 500, and um, she gives every other Ellie 500. So so, so good. good. It's like freaking wedding dress in Miku. Yep. And then three uh, hand uh, hand swap. So when this enters uh, the field, I I take the top card of my opponent's um, stock, stock, put it to waiting room, choose a card from the waiting room, and put it into their stock. So any climaxes I see in there is going straight there. Yeah, you just troll their stock right <laughs> exactly. before they refresh. Exactly. I've done that to like one person. I think it was against Kenneth. And then also the price. Storm. The brainstorm is um clock um uh, hands uh, clock swap. Yeah. So for each climax, uh, it's what, was it pay one rest this? Pay one rest it. Um, mill four for each climax. I take one card from my um, clock to hand and put the top card of my deck into clock. Oh. oh yeah. What happened round two? Oh, I milled four and I still won. <laughs> <laughs> I milled four climaxes and I still won. You cheated. I don't cheat. <laughs> okay. Now let's see those those beautiful beautiful. Climaxes. Do we have a Four green plus two soul. Four yellow plus, plus two, two soul. souls. <laughs> plus Don't two souls. Don't count as a waifu because Ellie's right there. Plus two souls all day every day. <laughs> oh, this deck is hilarious. Oh, it's only the top card for stock. So, any thoughts? Uh, anything that you would like want to change the ratios of or stuff like that? Um, more zeros. That's it. More zeros. What yes. Would... Because I know there's a. Somewhere? You probably play like an Ellie Vanilla or something. Yeah, I'll probably like. What would you take out in, for more zeros? Damn. Probably one of the. One the of each. Encore? Yeah, I'll just take two. Yo, but you just found out this gets plus 1k! <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it okay. it still works. Now let me double check this thing. Yeah, if you have three or more other music. I'll probably get rid of um, one of each for the vanilla. If Wait. Isn't this the what? The, isn't this the same as the the fucking Umi from the? Okay, whatever. Yep. <laughs> but yeah. All right. Other than that, this carried me. These carried me so hard. It's not even funny. If my opponent doesn't die by the plus two soul onslaught, this kills him. <laughs> because the build, the deck builds up so much stock that I can just make this uncounter uh, uncounterable. All right. So do you have anything? Any last words to say to anybody who's a Love Life fan and their waifu is not Ellie? Not our show. <laughs>